Hey guys, welcome to my lesson for Omens Importance 2, Carry and Crow by Earth. This is from the uh, Bees Made Honey and the Lion Skull album. And uh, this should be a pretty simple lesson. I'm just going to keep it straight to the main four riffs. So let's get started. First thing you need to know is that you need a guitar that's half step down. Let's start with riff number one. So again, pretty simple. You're just going to go open low E. And then on the A and D strings, you're going to go 5 and 6. And you're going to do a natural harmonic on the 7th fret of the low E while those two are ringing. And then slide down to 3 and 4 on the A and D strings. That's it. So once again. On to riff number two. So riff number two is more or less the main riff of the song. It's kind of a toss up between this and riff number three, but anyway, I'll play it through and then I'll explain. So once again, we're going to start with that droning open low E. Then on, a D, on the D string, you're going to go to fret number 9. Then you're going to bar the 7th fret uh, D and G strings. Same with the 9th fret D and G strings. Although you're going to hammer on that part. Then slide up to the 11th fret on both strings and back to the 9th fret so once again so that whole motion is just going to be 7th fret, fret hammer on slide without another uh, pick attack and then back to nine so fairly simple that was riff number two let's move on to riff number three so riff number three is also kind of a contender for the main riff of the song but uh, you can decide that for yourself anyway I'll play it through and explain So, again, low E, droning, and then you're going to go to 4 on the G string, pull off to 2, and then uh, open, back to 2, and then 3 on the B string, then 4 on the G string, 3 on the high E. So once again, you're going to go 4, pull off to 2, and then hit strike the open, then uh, 2, 3 on the B, 4 on the G, and 3 on the high E. And for the second part, it's the same thing except when you do 3 on the high E, you then uh, play the open high E as well. So once again slowly. And then for the second part. 
So that's it for riff number three, and then uh, the fourth riff is the last riff, and then they all sort of cycle. So let's get to riff number four. Riff number four is the only one that doesn't start with the, the uh, open low E, but it ends with it. So it starts <coughs> on the uh, D string. You're going to hit the D string open and then hammer onto two. So you go uh, D string, open, hammer onto two, and then open G string. Then you're going to play um, a D chord, but I think I believe it's uh, sus two, because you're not going to play the uh, high E. So it's uh, open D string, second fret G string, and third fret B string, and you're not going to play the high E. So you play that twice. Then open D string and hammer onto two again. And then open B string, open high E string. And then open low E string. So let me play that for you together so you can make sense of it. riff number four so basically that's all you need to know to play this song um, yeah let me know how I did <laughs> thanks for watching guys see you next time